Cowboys Showdown All-Star. Oh, here we go. Jerry's coming right here. A bunch of bandits. The other team just showed up out of nowhere. You're like, running right through the middle of a herd, start cracking a whip. That is not cowboy. You don't do that stuff. JP won his second immunity buckle in a row. He's got him. JP got him. That saved him from elimination. Really comes down to either JP or Quattro going home here. And JP, I feel like you should be the one going home. But you had the immunity buckle. So, Quattro, I'm gonna let you go right now. Okay. And Quattro was sent home instead. Ethan continued to slow the gold team down. I'm just gonna be honest. That was a screw up. And was sent packing. Your vacation's over. You can pack your stuff, hit the trail. And now, 11 okay. Cowboys remain. Who will ride on and who will be sent back? Only one will leave here with $50,000 worth of cattle, an air-equipped 87 Series Q-Catch cattle chute, and their new Healer Portable Corral. Who will win? The Ultimate Cowboy Showdown All-Stars. gonna have to we're gonna have to kind of watch Tyler playing his little old game and right foot throw the right one on my team I'm uh, always watching Tyler we all know how Tyler plays the game and he plays the game well I believe he's one of the few that has won more than one immunity in the ultimate cowboy and uh, I've got to do everything that I can to not let that happen again at Tyler Keyjack, AKA the Jake break. Take advantage of when he does screw up, if he does, you know. We didn't come here to be friends. Right, right. We came here to play a game. Mm -hmm. Survivor up, buddy. Mm -hmm. As for you and me, Man, I'm glad gone. they stuck us on the same team. Man, ain't nothing like having two schoolyard bullies in the you house, bet, is there? You bet. There we go. Hey, look at that. I know it's been kind of tough, but how have you been handling leaving Jennings every day? I know you're not used to that, and she usually is riding with you every day. Um, it's hard, you know. I, I know I'm doing it for her, though, so that makes it worth it. But um, it is it is really hard to leave her in the morning. So this morning, you know, I woke up pretty stressed. This competition, having a baby, like, it's, it's difficult. Like, I don't get to spend a lot of time with her. And um, I don't know, it's kind of getting to me. You know, I'm just so thankful that I got to grow up this way, and maybe one day, you know, you'll be doing something, the same thing for your kids, I hope. Jay Storm comes from four generations of ranchers in Southeast Texas. Who will I have fun? Huh? Yes, did you get your horse? But now, with her grandfather and patriarch turning 90, it's up to her to take the lead. Our legacy is kind of at risk right now. Not everyone in the family has been involved with the agriculture operation. So, you know, people start wanting to split it up and sell it. And uh, my brother and I are just trying to save as much of it as we can so that we can keep the operation going. So I have something to hand on to my daughter, Jennings. I hate to leave you, Jennings, especially when you're crying. When I think of all the dreams that I have for Jennings, you know, like, I, such a big part of making those dreams come true for her is winning this competition and being able to save our ranch. I'll be back in a little bit, okay? Mom's gonna go Look win this it. and I'll come back. You know, this new immunity buckle challenge, there is no telling what's fixing to come down the channel at us. Hopefully my age might prevail. That little extra ounce of wisdom I might have from all my years of cowboy. Okay, morning cowboys. Morning. Morning. This immunity buckle challenge today is going to measure your knowledge when it comes to running a ranch. Can't succeed as a rancher if you don't know the numbers. Today, we'll be testing how well you can evaluate anything and everything that you might find on a ranch. Could be price, weight, age, or anything else that we come up with. Each round, we're going to eliminate the cowboys that are furthest away, either too high, too low. Top two cowboys will go head to head. And the winner, of course, will get this outlaw spirit immunity buckle and be safe from elimination. 
Helping me today, Buddy Schnaufer, Cash Myers. All right, we're gonna have some fun today. All right, cowboys, here we go. All right, guys, we've got a pair of ranch working dogs out here. They're four years old. They're real gritty. They'll work all day, no quit. Really good working dogs here. Give us the price on them dogs as a pair. First round, here we go. They bring out my deal. Two broke cattle dogs. I got this. I'm fixing to knock a home run right off the bat. OK, let's see what y'all all bid on these dogs. Before I tell you what the value of these dogs are, Buck, you love this pair of dogs. 25 grand. Buck's rich. Yeah. <laughs> no. What was the price on these dogs? These dogs here, they're valued at 5,500. The closest was Fatty. I'll take him. Buck, you're farthest away, so you're out. But then the second farthest away are the two men that bid 10 grand. So JP, Jackson. So you three are out. I was a little high on them, but you know, John Paul doesn't get the buckle either. All right, Cowboys, let's move on to the next item here. Out here in Arizona, ranchers keep their cattle on grass all year round. So what I want to know is how many of these bells will it take to feed a 1,000 pound cow for three months? When it comes to feeding cattle, I run a lot of numbers with my grandpa on the ranch every day. So I feel like it's something that I should probably be pretty good at. I don't do math that fast. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope this is right. I just wrote down a number. Let's see what you wrote down there. Sarah? I think that they're supposed to eat 3% of their body weight a day. And then I got screwed up my math, then I got a little flustered, so I'm hoping I'm in the ballpark. A cow on alfalfa hay here in the winter will eat 2.5% of his body's weight a day, so that's going to come down to 19 bales to feed him for 30 days. Jay Storm, you were off by 131 bales. This is not what I meant to put, so That's it's... not what you meant to put. No. <laughs> Sorry. Jay Storm, <laughs> Sorry. you're out. I added a zero, and I really don't know why I did that. And if my grandpa's watching, he's going to think I'm crazy. <laughs> this is a 2015 Bobcat 530. It's been well maintained. How much is this skid steer right here worth? All right, everybody, let's see what you put down there. The actual retail value is $23,000. Brianna at 52,000, you were off by 29 grand, so you're out. You're gonna buy two for mine, so. <laughs> Patty, you were off by over $15,000, so you're out. Enjoy it. That was, that was pretty close, but I just wasn't close enough, and I actually operate a skit steer every day at work. All right, we're getting down to it. What's the next thing we got? We got a 500cc bottle of new flora. New floor is an antibiotic used on cattle, so tell me what this bottle here is worth. OK, unlicensed veterinarians, let's see what you came up with. The actual value of this bottle of new flora is $340. Tyler, you were the closest. It was only off by 40. Jared, you were the lowest at 200 off by 140. Sarah, you were way off. So you two, you're out. Sarah and I both got knocked out of that one. Man, I'm pulling for green team Cody Brewer all the way. I feel like he's gonna pull this one off. Okay, one of you's gonna get this buckle. Let's keep on, we'll see who it is. Okay guys, this horse here is called Jalopy. She works on the Flying E guest ranch. She's a Flying E go-to mount right here. She's uh, got a lot of go winners. She's as good as at the end of the day as she started out at the beginning of the day. Tell me what this horse is worth. All right, gentlemen, let's see what you got. Well, we'll go lowest to highest. I went with a three and a bunch of nines because a dude ranch, they just need a trail horse. I thought I was being awful nice at what I give her. All right, Diamond. Watch the horse walk around. She's sitting on wedges and some lifters on the front. So I went six to 250 because she's going to need some maintenance every time she gets a pair of shoes on. Cody, you were high. She's got a little energy to her on the ground. It doesn't seem like she's kid safe, but she's got to be worth something. That's the way I look at it. The value of this horse is $3,000. Cody, you were the highest at 7,500, so you're out. So it really eats at my soul that I messed the bid up on that horse. It was just hard to read that horse, honestly, but that's the name of the game. Tyler said he was being nice offering that, so good job. 
Thank you. You know, when I started my ranch, it wasn't mom and dad's checkbook. I started it all myself. Every check that was wrote, every purchase that was made, I was signing the dotted line. All right, gentlemen, this is what it's all about right here. Just immunity buckle. It's very, very important I keep it out of Tyler's hands right now. Tyler's a game player. You know, I came to play this time too. I didn't, I didn't come to just let everything go by. I came to play the game. It's about time I won my first immunity buckle. So hey, let's just go ahead and get the belt buckle shined up and see if it won't fit on my belt this time. Bring in that trailer. The life of a cowboy on a ranch isn't always about evenings spent in the bunkhouse, telling lies and playing poker. Some nights it's a lot more uncomfortable than that. Tonight's gonna be one of those nights. All right, gentlemen, this is what it's all about right here, this immunity buckle. We've got one more item remaining. The closest bid will win and be safe from elimination. Bring in that trailer. All right, guys, we have a seven-year-old bucking bull here named Sweet Dreams. He's been hauled on the PBR circuit. Riders have scored in the mid 80s on him consistently. He is out of a Kid Rock Dam and Pants on the Ground Sire. What's the value of this bull? All right, gentlemen, show us what you wrote down there. All right. Wow. Let's go lowest, Tyler. I raise bulls. Uh, Kid Rock and stuff is really cheap. If you just said he's like a page bred bull with current stats, that's different. That's where I priced him. In the ranching world and cowboy world where I'm at, I would not have a clue if you run the baddest cat in here. This ain't your world. No. That bull right there is worth $8,000. Not to Tyler. He wouldn't give you that for it. <laughs> <laughs> 7,500. Good oh, job. Dang. <laughs> good job, brother. Good job, you. Absolutely good job. Sorry, Diamond. The young guy took it this time. Come here, Tyler. That's a great job. I mean, it is what it is. He's more very well educated in the rodeo world than I ever will be. Hats off to him. Yeah. Thank you. Good. I appreciate it. There you it. go, buddy. Congratulations, Okay, Tyler. so you're safe from elimination. Yes, sir. All right. The immunity buckle is going to make the perfect shape wedge to shove between Diamond and Jackson. Tyler Keyjack is a self-made, first-generation rancher originally from Michigan. He moved to Oklahoma when the family farm went under. I think that everything that's a curse is a blessing, and everything that's a blessing is a curse. Did I have the, the perfect cookie-cutter family? No. Do I feel like it, it made me more successful in the long run? Yes, I think it made me way tougher. It, it made me a lot smarter. It taught me how to look out for myself and now my family. Jay, Oklahoma is a super tight-knit community and you always run into the old farmers and ranchers and folks from town that want to see you do good and that, that's a kind of a warm, fuzzy feeling in itself. I'm a first-generation rancher, you know. My dad lost the family farm at 19. You know, we had nowhere to live. I was completely homeless. And so I trekked out by myself. No mom, no dad, no money. I, I stopped in a little town, Slick, Oklahoma. Uh, there was a stop sign, and that slowed me down long enough to see a trailer house on the side of the road that was for rent. I met my wife, and she helped me fix up the trailer house with holes in the floor. There, I started riding horses and, and, and building my cattle herd and all the long while rodeoing and just growing this business. You know, last time on the show, I had a little over 100 acres and, and maybe 200 head, and now we've got over 600 acres and, and close to 400 head. Our rodeo count that we put on is more than doubled. The awards are stacking up. You know, I, I'm a completely different competitor, not to mention, I'm a dad. Say, so, uh-oh, kick your boot off, bud. <laughs> so when you're a dad, everything changes. I'm not just here for me. I'm here for my wife and my, and my son. You like that horse, Drew? You know, uh, he's a ride. He's a little over a year old. Uh, he, he already likes riding horses, riding the tractor. And, uh, you know, winning this herd of cattle and all the prizes that it comes with will help assure my legacy and, and assure that my little boy will be a second generation rancher.
I feel like I, I needed to come back, you know, when the opportunity presented itself because not winning, I've had a chip on my shoulder and it's bothered me and I don't take losing very good. Some people call me a sore loser, but I just think I'm a good winner and that's why I'm here. Thank you. All right. Good evening, cowboys. Evening. Good evening. Speaking of evenings, the life of a cowboy on a ranch isn't always about evenings spent in the bunkhouse, telling lies and playing poker. Some nights it's a lot more uncomfortable than that. Tonight's going to be one of those nights. Each team will have to set up a campsite with tents and a fire that go all night long. Just to complicate things a little bit, we're gonna give you 25 cows apiece. You're gonna to have to drive them to your campsite and contain them there all night long. Now in the morning, you have to drive the herd down the wash with some obstacles along the way to a waiting corral. The team who can get their cattle into the corral the fastest is safe from elimination. Now, you each have all your supplies in these two pickup trucks. Whichever one you're assigned to, there's the exact same thing in both trucks. We're gonna be watching you all night long, you know that. Helping me out, of course, Cash Myers, Buddy Schnaufer. All right, if I was you, I'd try to get my camp set up before it got too dark. Go! Easy to the horses, don't break your All right, some's going to the horses, some's going to the truck. Oh, they had a little strategy. They did, yeah. Cross the double tree like that. Gold team's all packed up, heading for their camp. I'm good, go ahead. Green team is still loading their pack horse. I think we're going up the up the middle. Up the middle? Yep, right Thank here. You. The gold team's already begun setting up camp for the night. Y'all figure all that out, and we're gonna go get them vacas. <laughs> Looks like we'll ride up and hit this wash and go left. Let's speed it up a little bit, let's just so we can get ahead of them. We sent Jackson, Fatty, and Jay Storm to get the cattle while we're here preparing camp. We figured three people could handle it. Come, Fatty. And uh, this is hard to get set up before dark. Time is of the essence, you know. That's where our camp goes, right here. Yeah, here's the camp right here. Fuck! Right, right. right yep. here's camp! Yep. We'll set it, set our tents and whatnot right here, OK? Hey, do you think we should start looking about where these cattle are at so so many people can stay here and make up camp and the rest of us can go gather for daylight? So we get to the campsite, and we have to set up camp, and we have to gather cattle, and we have to do all of this before the sun sets, so we better hurry. We need to put camp on this side because the cattle go that way in the morning. All right, who's going to get cattle? You want to stay here and just start setting up, or you want to go Let's with? stay in to set up camp. Uh, we're we're uh, going to have to set up camp. Um, Jared, stay here with your team. Uh, I ain't doing it again. You don't want to stay here and do that? No. Oh, that's cute. Man, where are they at with the cattle already? Appears as though we may have some lost cattle. It does. Jared, stay here with your team. Uh, I ain't doing it again. You don't want to stay here and do that? No. Trace pointed out. He don't want me just to do the little jobs or be the grunt man. He wants to see me get out there and kind of lead things a little bit more, and that's what I'm fixing to do. While the green team argues the gold team just made it to their herd, they're already setting up their tents. Did we not grab steaks to the ground? I got to have four steaks to make these things work. I don't think there was any in there, buddy. I have to. I got to go four corners with them. You know what? That sure worked for rocks on the inside corners. I can't believe y'all didn't grab steaks. You know what, it ain't gonna matter. On the green team, Jared made his case. And he's out to round up the cattle with Brianna and Cody. So look, they got three tents, build a fire, get the cattle there before dark. I mean, that's, they gotta get all that done. So we're going up the wash. I break out to the left side. Brianna's gonna stay straight up the wash. And Jared Lee breaks out somewhere. We're going up through there, and we're staying within a shouting distance. And whoever sees them is supposed to shout, and we're all supposed to be in distance. 
I'm not sure why they're spreading out so far. The cattle are only a quarter of a mile up the wash. should have looked at that map where the pins was. So we trek off. Now I was following some tracks. I get a pretty good ways off though, and I think to myself, did we look at the map on where the pins were? Try to get up on one of these mountain tops to see if I can't see something. I don't need the map, I know where I'm at. Gold team has their cattle and they're heading back to camp. The sun is sinking in the west. The cattle go down to the stream. Man, where are they at with the cattle already? It appears as though we may have some lost cowboys. It does. I think we should probably get this together, and then we're probably going to have to go help them. Yeah. Well, it's not too hard to understand, too. If I've been trotting for 30 yeah, for, minutes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, way way past, quarter I'm way past a quarter mile. way past quarter of a mile. Is that the inside of it? How much longer, guys? We're, we're going to have to go to them. Like, going to have to go to them. I feel like the green team just is like, oh, the explorers of the teams, because all the people on the green team want to go on a walkabout. Where the heck are you going? The competition is here, people. Come back to the competition. So I'm going back to get a track. Brandon was supposed to stay in the wash. Never heard nothing from her. Never heard nothing from Jared. He was supposed to be right there within the shouting distance, all three of us. All right, I could tell by the sun it was going to drop within the next hour. So next thing I do is start making my way back to camp so I can get back to JP and Buck and say, hey, I need help. JP! Yes, sir. Come with me. We need help with these cattle. OK. I'm trying to get the tents up, and Cody rides up. He says he cannot find the cattle. We are on a time basis here. If we don't get these cattle here before the sun goes down, we don't even have a time. They spread out went way that way, and I got high with binoculars, and I couldn't see anything. Here, let's listen for a second. Cattle are right here. They really couldn't find them? That's pretty bad when you see a map. When the cattle are not far, very easy to find, you can't even find the cattle. I think that speaks volumes. Were they right there in that pen? Yeah. Yes, sir. Sheesh. Man, I don't know how she missed that. I just rode my horse in the ground. Well, they finally got cows here. Still missing a couple of cowboys, I think. Let's go see what the other camp looks like before it gets dark. Yes, sir. You did a really good job with, with camp. You guys did a really good job. You hey, I'm not going to lie to you. His job was the tents. I went and got all these rocks, and then he couldn't set the tents up. And he was like, don't worry about that. Don't worry about making camp nice. I'm like, why would you want to organize this in the dark? Right. We right. ain't got no flashlights. When God shuts the lights off, it's over. Yep. So I know where everything is. OK. I'm watching Tyler. And although he is doing a great job setting the camp up, making it organized, but I'm thinking, man, I... Tyler, are you, are you doing this because you know you have the immunity? There's this, Jax. Are you playing the snake, or are you, are you, are you actually looking out for the team's best interest. I feel like he might be, he might be kind of huh? trying to figure out how to sabotage. Meanwhile, on the green team, Brianna has made her way back to camp, but Jared is still missing. Man, I knew I should have stayed in this creek bottom. Get down in there. Sarah! Get on your right side, help JP. Did you see Jared at all, Brianna? Last time I seen him, he was on a ridge walking yonder way. I'm thinking Jared's thinking about now that he should have stayed here and set up tents and let us go get the cattle. It's below freezing tonight, and the Cowboys on both teams have decided to pull all-nighters. Where in the heck's Jared Lee? You got one leaving out, going right. Hey. What we're doing tonight, watching these cattle, building our fires, setting up our tents, and staying up all night long, making sure no predators get to our cattle. You know, this is the true essence of a cowboy. This is how they did it way back in the old days, and I couldn't be any more proud to be a part of this industry. Who's over there? Jared Lee. Where you been? 
Picked up a set of tracks, ended up finding a black, white face horned cow. Well, I got caught up tracking that cow and didn't realize how far I'd made it until, until then. But I'm sorry. Sorry I let y'all down. Man, I sure dropped the ball on this one. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm so mad at myself. I, I don't want to eat nothing. I don't want to drink nothing. I want to take all duties from the whole team and carry the weight for them all night long. You want me to give you a break, bud? Just a hair. Jim, the cattle are straying over there. They ain't going nowhere. His head's okay. like eight foot from the line, ain't it? Well, it's just now it's about four, three. I mean, why are we risking it? Why not ball them up in the middle a little better? Tyler, I'm just letting them graze and be gentle. Hey, the line is right here on these two TPs. Okay. I'm gonna put the pack horse on the line just so we know where it is. Yeah, that. I mean, that makes sense. There goes JP. He's on the head now. It's not went real well so far. JP, here's the deal. I don't need somebody else to come in there and back me up on something that's under 700 pounds. Look, man, you don't have to get upset. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. Hey, hey, hey. It's morning, and both teams have been up all night long keeping their cattle contained and in their campsites. That's fine. It's time for each team to finish this challenge. Everything will be taken into account when judging. Camp setup, efficiency, and the final cattle drive that they'll do this morning. Someone from the losing team will be going home. Gold team will go first. Morning, morning. Morning. Well, the fire's still cooking. Well, I'll be darned. It looks good. We made you some, some cocoa. There was coffee, but. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you. Got everything ready to go. Yeah, man. Look at here, what? How about that? Last night's challenge was as tough of a challenge, mentally, physically, just the whole nine yards. And I still feel like I come out of it moving forward, rocking on, leading the team, one step closer to being the ultimate cowboy. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna gather your cattle, and you're gonna drive them to their final destination, a pen waiting a mile away. Along the way, there's a steer. We need you to rope the steer and tie him down. Just leave him. Continue on with your drive. Get your cattle in that pen and you'll be done. Before you get going, you gotta pack your camp up just like you brought it over here. Take it with you. All right, guys, we're ready to move this outfit. You ready? Yes, yes sir. Go. Tyler, Diamond, and Fatty are breaking down the count while Jay Storm and Jackson make sure the herd doesn't scatter. They got a lot of stuff ready. It's time like this that I remember what my high school coach said. This is like the fourth quarter. The team needs you, it's close. You gotta find something deep down and pull it out. I mean, you gotta grind. You gotta be able to finish the job. They packed it all up right there in about 10 minutes. That's pretty yeah. good right there. It looks good, too. Looks like Jim Diamond out ahead. They're, they're going to find their steer. Go to him, go to him. Yeah, I got her. Nice loop from Tyler. Tyler wrote him and yeah. had the muni buckle. And he had, good had day. the muni buckle. He's playing for the team. Yeah. You know, Tyler stepped up and said, let's do this, this, and this. And they said, OK. And he has completed his task as far as I'm concerned to being a leader. Go on! You got him? Go. They're ready to drive him to the pins now. Hey. Hey. Easy Little job. Kid. Now, it's going to be right up here, probably 100 yards. I am really exhausted, and I'm trying to keep breathing so I don't lose my patience. I'm just, I'm just trying to. You know, slow as fast, that they're going to get it done, and I've got to have faith. Little jig, Kiss. Come on. Ha, 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 ha. Work one by you, Jim. Ha, 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 ha. They just about got a pin right here. Time. That's time. All right, Gold. We'll see you in the arena tonight at sundown. Somebody from the losing team going to go to the house. Good work, you guys.
Looks like they got some stuff packed up. We got the bags laid out for each tent. Yeah, they're ready. Not one of our team members slept last night. We rotated in and out. We kept the fire going. Sarah made us a wonderful dinner. I was extremely proud of the team last night. All right, green team, you ready? Yes, yes sir. sir. Let's take these cows back to the pen. I didn't hit the mark last night, but nobody's got immunity this time on the green team. And if by some chance the green team don't pull this thing off, I'm going to have to make sure I stand up and stand out. They're working on that fire. They ain't a great big fire compared to the other camp. You're right. Well, Nate, they needed to use their fire as a lighthouse <laughs> 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 yeah, to dude. keep people from Moving. getting lost. All right, we got to go. All right. Jerry's going to lead the pack. All right, let's see what they do from here. Don't let them dry up from the wash. Cut. Don't let them get up. They're moving these cattle pretty quickly right yeah. here off the bat. Somebody needs to get ahead of them. I'm going to stay on top of this herpes cow. I got her. I got her right there, right here. Hey, hey, All right, we're hey, good. Hey, Let's hey, roll. Be hey. ready. Go rope them. Go rope them. Let's see here. Cody's got the rope and steer up there. Yeah, Cody's got the rope and steer. He's got him. All he needs is a healer. He's got him. Go heal him. Go heal him. Cody's got down here and get him mugged down by himself, it looks like. He's got the old steer there. Anybody that knows me back in Tennessee knows all it takes for me if it's under 700 pounds is a front leg, and I will put him in the dirt. Plain as day. There goes JP. He's on the head now. Bring him this way to our side. It's not went real well so far. I'm about to get this thing flipped over. And I keep feeling this weird weight. The next thing I know, I look up, and John Paul's hanging off his head trying to work against me. We got the opposite way. And I know what I'm doing. So I don't need somebody else to come in there and back me up on something that's under 700 pounds. I'm trying. Yeah, they got him down. You feel confident in it? Huh? Or you want me to retie? Yes, sir. I feel confident. I'll tie. All right, looks like they got that steer tied down. Yep. They're back to the. John Paul's trying to be the hero, plain as day. He wants to talk over things that are already in motion, and it's pointless. Hey! Put some pressure, Cody. Put a little bit on this side. Every time I'm where I'm supposed to be, where I know I'm supposed to be, John Paul keeps going, Cody, get right there. Cody, do this. And I'm like, I'm already there. Why are you even saying it? You see me there when you say it. Just shut up. Huh. All right, green team, you got it done. See you in the arena after a while. Somebody from the losing team going to go home. Good job, guys. JP, you're going to stop talking to me like that when I know where I'm at. Just because you're not sure other people don't mean it's got anything to do with me. I'm just going to tell you that right now. It does. You're going to have to get over that. I don't need a babysitter. Huh? Well, there you go. We'll find out. What do you want to find out? I just told you. That's all it takes. Look, man, you don't have to get upset. I'll tell you the Hey, 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 yo, everybody's tired. Let's not pick the fight now. It's not a good time I to pick it. I didn't pick it. JP is not going to be running his mouth to me, and he's not going to be talking over me and treating me like a child. I'm not Quattro Houston. I'm Cody Brewer from Tennessee. He better figure that out real quick. There was a, a huge difference in the performance between these two teams. There was really no comparison at all. I mean, come on. Cody, you had the map. Why didn't you look at the map? I know that if it comes down to it and we're on the losing team, I'm very, very prepared to stand up for myself and very prepared to make an argument why I need to be here. There is a strong amount of weight on my shoulders. I'm trying to win this competition for my community, for all the people back home in Texas. I love y'all. I'm here to represent my faith, my love for everyone, and try to be the right man, try to do things the right way so that people know that there is someone to look up to. All right, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So everybody went camping. Yes, sir. Yep. Let me just deal with 
Tyler, you had the immunity buckle today, but you, you put that team on your back. I was uh, pretty impressed. You didn't have to do that. Go sit on the fence. Appreciate it. Good job, Tyler. Good job, Tyler. All right, I want to talk about leadership a little bit. When it comes down to this point where we start getting rid of more and more people, leadership becomes the main thing that we're looking for. I mean, you have got to step out. You have got to take that leadership role. You cannot be afraid to do that to win this game. You want to speak to that, Cody? Yes, sir, I would like to, and um, I'd like to take this opportunity to say and apologize to you like a man in front of the whole team, because when I got an attitude, it was in front of the whole team. I appreciate that. You know, I'll be the first one to tell you I should have had a, a better attitude and should have thought more about it, but also, uh, I didn't like some of the things that was said, but you know, the way I addressed it wasn't right, and yes, I just sir. want to apologize. Yes, sir, thank you. You know, there was a, a huge difference in the performance between these two teams. There was really no comparison at all. I mean, regardless of what the times were, driving the cows and getting them pinned back up, the gold team did it a lot faster than y'all did, but that wasn't the point. It was everything was just better with this team. It was smooth, it was calm, it was professional. Go team, go sit on the fence. Thank you, sir. Good job, guys. Good job, team. Good job. Good job, Good job, Good job guys. Good job. All right, green team, there's six of you here. Somebody's going home. What happened on going to find the cows? You had a map. I'm no Magellan, but it's pretty clear to me. I'm pretty sure my five-year-old niece could have handled that. It was pretty simple. X marked the spot. They even did that for you. I struck out across there and looking for pins. OK, hold up, hold up, hold uh -huh. up. So y'all were about to start. Mm -hmm. And Cody you're all three map. sitting there together looking at the map. I never saw the map. Not you one never time. saw the map. No, sir, I sure did not. And did that's you where ever I see made the a map? mistake. I got the map handed to me whenever I was holding the horses and was loading beans. And I didn't even look at the map, and that's my fault. I didn't study you the didn't map. You didn't look at the map. No, sir. Cody, you had the map. Yes, sir. And did I thought... you look at the map? Yes, sir. So when you started out, somebody said, I'm going this way, you go that way, you go that way. Why didn't somebody go, hold up, why don't we all just go from this X to this X? I mean, come on. Now, every one of you on this team should have looked at that map and made sure that you knew where you were going. I mean, my goodness, this team has already had one catastrophe where you've lost somebody JP, why didn't you look at the map? I look at you to be a leader on this team. I am a leader, sir. Cody came back. He said that, you know, he needed help. So when, as soon as he said he needed help, I took off and cut out and tried to, and went and looked for those cattle and found them over there in those pens. Did you ride right to him? Yes, sir. You rode right up yes, that sir, wash. Yes, right and, and you never looked at the map. I, I didn't look at the right map. You just rode right up the wash. No, there sir. they were. Just right up. Brianna, did you turn off just a little too soon, what happened uh, yes, there? Yes, sir, and I was sick when I saw it when I come back. When you I was a... went back and you saw... When I came back, I rode down the wash coming back, and I was just nauseated when I seen where the pins was, because I was about 150 yards from it when I rode out of the wash. But maybe not even that far. Yeah. Why should you stay? I should stay because I have stepped out. I've been there for the entire team. I've roped cattle when I needed to rope cattle. I've roped bulls, loaded bulls when I needed to load bulls. i filled in gaps where they needed to be filled in. I, I deserve to be on this team. I'm not the weakest link on this team. But you were supposed to stay in the wash. And if you would have stayed in the wash, you'd have rode right up on those cows, but you didn't. And that had the snowball effect. And after that, the wheels came off the train and y'all never really seemed to be able to recover from that. And it was just a, a nightmare. I got nothing but respect for you, but you're done here. No, sir, you're making the wrong choice, Trey. You're making the wrong choice. Brianna, I got nothing but respect for you, but you're done here. No, sir, you're making the wrong choice, Trace. I'm not. I know you feel that way. You're I know making you the wrong choice. Do. I never said I was going to stay in the wash, sir. You're making the wrong choice. I deserve to be here. I'm a good competitor. You were supposed to stay in the middle. That was your job. They were going to the sides, and you were staying in the middle, and you didn't find I those was cows. in the middle, sir. And I when you out went the back to them, the and when you did go back to them, you just went, there they are. 
It was just that okay. simple. Yes, sir. I appreciate right. it. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, y'all. Be careful. Peace love. Yes, sir. Good. Trace made the wrong choice, 100%. Because, I mean, I've done everything I was supposed to do. Yes, I made a mistake on not looking at the map, but so did two other guys. One was carrying the map. So, how, I mean, how did we get here? I have absolutely not one bit of shame. I came here saying I was gonna leave everything on the table. I absolutely 100% did that. It's been a good experience. Trace made the wrong call. Jared Lee, now's the time to bring it, okay? Ultimate Cowboy Showdown. Come on, get some. Be in the heat of that battle. Woo, I'm about to get fired up now. Well, what are you fired up about? I want to know. So, Jared Lee, he got down on himself. We had a pep talk. I said, it's the Ultimate Cowboy Showdown. This is when you come in there muscled up. You bring the heat every day. He made a mistake last night, and then he got down on himself. I want the absolute best out of everybody because I want to beat everybody at their best. Whew. Okay, let me breathe. I appreciate your passion. I'm not done. Get back on the fence. All right, y'all, Brianna's gone, but one more of you is going home. Missing some leadership on this team. JP, honestly, you disappointed in yourself? Yes, sir. I would hope you were. Cody. Man, the whole map fiasco. But you came back and you told people we need some help. Jared, you just stayed gone. The season that you were on, Ultimate Cowboy, you left on your back. I remember I was right down there beside you holding your hand while you were gritting your teeth. Your bone was sticking out of your leg. You are a competitor, and I have learned over the years just how well respected you are in the world of training dogs, and you're legendary in that area. But you're not going to be the ultimate cowboy, Hoss. Yes, sir. Thank That's you. personal. Thank okay. you for the opportunity. All right. Man, I'm extremely disappointed. I come here to win this deal, but I'm also thankful that I got the opportunity to compete in a competition like this against a lot of great hands. I proved that I can hang with the best of them. I'm taking away confidence in myself, knowing that I did come here and I could rope and ride with some of the best hands in the country. I'm very proud of myself, and I know my wife and my kids and my little brother are gonna be proud of me. Something about this Arizona air and being around everybody, this environment, and the ultimate cowboy showdown, it's just life-changing.